Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to get the dynamic selling price in Power BI. It's a real world case and solution in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. So this is the Power Query Editor. And here I have the sales table, sales date, product, and the quantity. There are a few things which the rate is not constant and it may fluctuate based on the market situations like the stock exchange, like the gold rate, and the, even the fruit and vegetables as well. Here in this example, I have taken for the fruits, and these are the sales with the quantity and the selling date. And if you look at the price list, so this is the product and with effect from this is the rate. Example apples which start from 1st of May is 200 and from 7th of May it's 250 and after 10th of May it is 220. So we need to get this rate over the sales to extract the selling value. For that we need to do few things in Power Query Editor as well as in DAX. So let's start in Power Query Editor. So what I have done here is first of all I have added two index columns. One is starts from 0 and another starts from 1. So I made a video about the index column. So you can add it from add column and then index. It starts from zero and it starts from one. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, the next step I have taken here is the match queries. So you, you can do this by home and then match queries. I have made a video about this as well. Just check the link on the top of your screen. Now if you click on this gear icon, what I have done here is I have selected the price list on the top as well as the same thing on the below as well. But the column I have selected here is the first you start from one in the top and in the bottom start from zero. Click OK. It just gives me this table structure. Now I have extracted two columns from this table. That's how you can do is you can just click on this icon and then I have selected the product and with effect from. So product and then the width effect from and after that I don't need these two columns remote columns the index 0 start from 0 and start from 1 and then I just rename this to end date now I need to add a custom column the custom column looks like this for that you need to go to add column and then the custom column it will open up this window here what I have written here is if the product is if you look at this table this is a product and this product if both of the products are same then what i'm saying here is then date or add date this end date minus one date because the rate which is here is up to the 6th of may in this example from 1st of may to 6 it is 200 and from 7th of may till 9th of may it is 250 and from 10th of may onwards it is 220 so I need to minus one date here from 7 to get the result of 6th of May. That's why I'm using this formula date dot add days open bracket end date comma minus one or else it just returns null because if you look at this one there are two products here and if I didn't use this option what will happen is it will just go back to this previous row which is not correct. So once it is starts with banana again it has to redo the process again. So what's the final result we have received here? is instead of 7th of May we received the 6th of May and here 9th and if you look at this one Apple has only three rows whereas if you look at this after marriage we have got this value from the banana table this is not right actually so that's why I have written this custom column from that what I have got is from 1st of May to 6th of May this is the rate and from 7th of May to 9th of May this is the rate and from 10th of May to null in the sense is I will consider this as without the end of the date. Finally, it just change the date to date column. That's it. So these are things we need to do it in Power Query Editor. Now click on home, apply and close. Let's go back to this Power BI desktop. Now this is sales table, sales, product and then the quantity. And if you look at this price list, this is the value. So this we have seen in Power Query Editor itself. Now I have written a formula here, add a new column, so eclipse icon, new column, I got this and if you look at this tax calculation here, so calculate I have taken the minimum of price list rate, 
come on the filter now i'm applying it here from 1st of may to 6th of may it's 200 for apple and from 7th of may to 9th of may it is 250 that's enough for now let's go to this calculation now so what i am generating here is from the piece list i'm expecting this from this is the 1st of may and here this is the 6th of may between this date if there is any sales value and the product is equal to apple and apple or banana or banana then i'm just returning this the rate if you look at this now from 1st of may to 6th of may it is 200 from 7 8 9 is there is no sales so 7 8 only here 250 and from 10th onwards it is to 20. like the same thing if you look at this one from 1st of may it is 30 from 3rd of may it is 35 and from 17th may it is 40 if you look at the price list from 1st of May it is 30, from 3rd of May it is 35 and from 15 onwards it is 40. Whereas if you look at the sales here, we don't have any sale on the 15 of the 2 hour it is 17. Yeah, that's right. So we got this rate here. So, so this is how you can able to get the dynamic selling price in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button. If you have any better solution or if you have comments or any queries, just post it in the comment section below. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.